Hey guys, so I'm going to give a demo of the basic setup of my free menu system in Unity 2019. So you can find it on the asset store, you can go to the link in the description, or you can find it by typing in free menu. You can download it and you can click import. It will warn you that if you import it and you have the complete project, it might overwrite some settings, but you can just click OK. And when you choose to import it, you can just untick project settings so it won't replace any of your project settings that you've already got. And you can just import the first package. So click import and it'll import straight into your assets folder. When you've done that, there might be an error with the main camera that's there, but don't worry, you can just clear that. And when we open up the package, we can go to scenes and we can go to main menu. You can see the error here that the GUI layer in the main camera will be removed, but that's just because it was made with an older version of Unity. So you can just clear that for now. So I would recommend starting out with using the main menu scene because it's all pretty much set up ready to go. Now the things that you've got to remember is I've got a UI controller which controls all the different canvas elements with all the images and things on it. On the UI controller itself will be an object which has an audio source and has a, me a menu controller script. So you can set the default values of any of your settings that you might want. So whether you want to change their brightness, it should be by default without you loading any data. It will default to these settings so you can change these as you see fit. And also change the, the levels to load. So I move to, in this case, the level one demo. You can replace that if you want to. You want to leave the menu number at zero and you you may need to attach or replace any of these if you want to affect any of the specific settings within the menu and on the main camera it does use a brightness a custom brightness sort of shader which will affect the brightness in your scene but it's hard to do it because i've got a background image if you had just a default um, game scenario you could adjust this and it would adjust the brightness and we have a load preferences which will allow us to load any data that we might have previously saved with the menu through the player preferences that we've got in there. You can see that we can instantly press play. You'll have a sound effect for all of the things that are going on here. We can choose to start a new game and it would do it if we'd added it to the build settings. Now we've got also a load game. If we had any data to load that specified a scene that you might have saved and we can choose to load that. And I'll show that how that works in the code a little bit after. We've got the options menu with the graphics, sound and gameplay. Graphics controls that brightness slider that you saw on the main camera. You can change this according to how you want your menu to function, but it's just a nice way to show you. So what we can do is we can set that to 1.3, hit apply, and it would save it. We can press back, we can go to the sound, we might be able to knock it up to 1, and you'll want to adjust the audio listener, which it currently does, and sensitivity, you would want to connect this to from the player preferences, load some data when you're into the scene to affect your sensitivity. Similarly with the invert, you need to do that within your gameplay because this is just a menu to have a basic menu, save some data, and then you need to be able to use that data from say player preferences when you move into your scene. So you can see that in my in the load level dialogue, which I've got within the script itself, it actually checks for a key which is called saved level and will load that level based on um, whatever level you might have saved in pre play preferences as long as it was classed as save level and you can edit this based on what piece of data and you can write whatever you need in here or your own custom sort of information to make that work so this is all just written in a basic sort of standardized way just to get you started with looking at the different areas of coding up your menu and then loading specific pieces of data and you can see similarly with the load preferences what I've got is every time that you can, you load the preferences when the game starts, we will check that we've got the specific player preferences data in the player preferences by saying, has it got the key of the master brightness volume? And then we will save these into a local variable and just put them into the UI and on the slider and adjust any of the specific, say like the audio listener volume, the brightness that exists on the camera and any of the extra pieces of data that we need to use. So you could take any of these local pieces of data that you've saved in prior preferences and use them when you initially uh, start your gameplay. So really this is just a base to any sort of start to a menu system with, I will have a full tutorial series showing you how to create this from scratch, looking at creating all the menus, all the UIs and all the programming in it. And that will be coming out in the future. And you just want to remember that inside here, we've got all the different static UIs that we can change. So you can change all the different 
menus, all the, the version number, the actual prompts at the bottom with the images and the text and anything that you need to from there. So just have a little play around with it and see what you think. So if you've got any suggestions, you want to see anything in the future, please check it out. And I did set up a Patreon recently, so if that's something that you want to look to help the channel, please go and have and have a little check out. But thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.